Hello, good morning. Uh, first of all, thanks to CleanTech Forum to organize this event and to the Automotive Intelligence Center to invite us. So we, let me introduce, I'm Frances Perano, the Institutional Development uh, Strategy from Gestam. Gestam is a tier one supplier. It's a Spanish private uh, company, but it's a worldwide company for the automotive market. And we are very sensitive for the efficiency and lightweight uh, applications for the safety improvements and lightweight uh, in, the, in the body structure and chassis. Our company is uh, around employees, about uh, 28,500 employees uh, worldwide. Uh, we have uh, forecast uh, sales of uh, 5,700 million euros. We have 94 plants. Uh, around the world, and we are focused in body wine mechanism and a wide range of uh, technologies. Uh, our portfolio of products is complete uh, is, uh, by, by modules, components, or systems located in mainly in body white regarding to the body structure baker, regarding to the hang-on uh, hang parts, regarding to the safety components like bumper beam systems and also the cross car beams. Uh, we are working on chassis, axles, and uh, also the um, suspension uh, components and mechanism. And also the mechanical mechanism like pedals, um, line uh, handbrakes, and uh, door checks. So globally, we are doing uh, the complete vehicle, but by, by, by modules and by components. So, regarding to the technology, we are very focused in uh, forming and joining technology to help us and to help to the OEMs to find uh, improvements regarding to the efficient, efficient factories of the future, efficient materials, and efficient energy of the future. In this case, uh, we are concentrated in some uh, forming technologies like uh, cold forming, hot forming, uh, also roll forming, and uh, uh, welding assemblies. And in the last, uh, the last um, six years, seven years, we focus on the uh, press hardening uh, 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 process in order to find lightweight structures to reduce the thickness of the components and to improve the factories of the future with new processes regarding to high strength steel. Also, regarding to the joining technologies, we are promoting now the remote laser welding and also the laser welding for 3D components in order to, uh, to uh, apply in the future more, more quick processes for assembly processes and in order to avoid huge investments with uh, um, huge uh, factories for welding and assembly components. We are positioned in the, in the third level. We, we consider we are an expert supplier, so we can offer to our OEMs and to our um, car manufacturers the complete added value from the raw material to the final manufacturing, including uh, technology innovation and product innovation. So we, we are uh, considered for our OEMs as a partnership as a technology innovation supplier also. And what makes sense for us? For us, it makes sense that we want to find a lightweight design for the future, because uh, as you know, the future is going to reduce emissions, is going to improve safety, and is going to make green all technologies. And in this way, our group is focused in this area in order to avoid CO2 penalties, in order to, uh, to find the regulations according to the European and the worldwide regulations. And also we are focused on, on the e-mobility or electrical vehicle for the future. In this way, because the, the, the weight of the batteries is so high today, we are working so hard to find solutions by steel in order to find this lightweight uh, concept design for the body structure and chassis uh, modules. Uh, what's going in the market? So we consider the market regarding to the potential savings and the price. In the future, uh, we consider uh, the steel will have a very important profile 
but also the multi-material applications in, in, the, in, this, in this market. So we consider the steel will combine with uh, other, other solutions by multi-material joining with uh, aluminum or maybe composite, but the main structure we consider will, will continue as a steel. And in this case, we are focused in a new technology uh, to find weight reduction, to find modern design, and to get the challenges, the new challenges for the future for this market. If we make an average uh, study about that, so we can find the, the, the steel solution, uh, maybe it's the, uh, regarding to the cost, it's not so high. And also, we are concentrating in this area now for uh, boron steels and press hardening in order to uh, reduce the number of components of several assemblies and in order to uh, improve new processes to find more thinner uh, components in the automotive market and to reduce the global weight of the, the, global weight of the vehicle. Regarding to emissions, if we go to the if, if we go to the cost for weight reduction, so you you can see also the the steel is one of the easiest uh, materials in this case. In order the cost for weight reduction, and uh, the the cost for weight reduction that the OEM is available to pay us, so it's for us it's uh, in the in in a good way to 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 go uh, in in the future. Why, why press hardening steel? Because press hardening steel give us uh, the reduction, as I said you, of uh, several components of the structure and increase the safety of the, of the structure, but also reduce the CO2 emissions because the global cell of the body structure vehicle is reduced quite a lot. So we are increasing in this technology so in the future, in the future will uh, will go with boron steels, and but also with uh, new steels up to 1,500 megapascals. Uh, it makes sense to uh, to uh, reduce quite a lot the the, thic the thickness of the components, and also it reduces quite a lot the energy efficiency of the factories of the future. In our case. The, the, main, uh, the main process, as you can see, uh, we, we start with a normal uh, steel about uh, 500 megapascals. This is a form and properties, but by, by heat treatment, we get uh, uh, ar around uh, 1,500 megapascals. So it means we, we have more, um, more mechanical resistance with less thickness and we can improve the weight at the final component. We can use uh, two different processes, direct and indirect processes. Uh, we are working quite a lot in, the, in these processes regarding to the energy consumption, mainly for the oven. The oven is quite long, about 14 meters, and we consume quite a lot of energy at this moment, and we are working to improve the, the process of the future, how to save energy and how to uh, improve the cycle time for the final component. Uh, just uh, to, to explain you, this boron, uh, uh, boron alloy steel is, uh, we have a aluminum silicium layer in order to avoid corrosion. This is also one important thing uh, regarding to this, uh, this uh, sheet metal component. And uh, it makes sense in order to avoid corrosion uh, at the, for the final application of in, in the body in white. Just, uh, uh, just to finish my presentation, I show you that uh, regarding to the material production emissions, if we make a comparison between the um, material production emissions, we can see that the steel is between 2 or 2.5 kilos of the CO2 per kilo of material, but aluminum, magnesium, and fiber, it's quite a, quite a lot. So in this way, we are focused by press hardening boron alloy steel to apply steel in the future also to help the reduction of uh, emissions uh, regarding to material, uh, material uh, pro production. And uh, finally, just to, to show you that uh, the, the performance, what, what we offer to, to, as a company, 
the performance of materials, the design and the processing of new technologies for the future. We try to design uh, our products according to technologies of the future to save energy in our plants for the factories of the future and also to um, make joining technologies for the future to improve the safety and the energy efficiency of the complete vehicle. So thank you very much. I think it's, it's my time and uh, if you have any question, maybe later on we can continue. Hmm?